Hello, everybody out there in YouTube land. Good times for all. There's Zachary Zabala here if you prefer. In this video, we're just going to talk about um, setting up a spot for your tent and um, making it nice and, I don't want to say flat. Flat's good, but the more important thing is clearing out all the debris and the uh, jagged rocks and stuff like that. Um, here's what the spot, here's what it looked like. The uh, spot where I'm going to be putting my tent. Lots of broken down branches and trees. Um, looks like people have been cutting away at the tree to clear a spot out. You always want to pick a spot that's going to be in the shade. Um, I always pick, since I'm in the northern hemisphere, or the northern part of the world, I, uh, I always pick a spot on the north side of a pretty wide tree. I tried to find a nice wide one you know that's gonna somewhat encompass my tent just to keep it somewhat in the shade these aren't the greatest trees for shade but um out here in the desert you take what you can get now what i did as you can see i have a nice big brush pile right here that i cleared out of here um, took me a little while picked up all the garbage and stuff and um a couple tools that's good to have there's a nice dirty pair of leather gloves here um, and a shovel. Now, the shovel is just for pretty much the big rocks and stuff. I'll show you here. You see this guy right here. I left him in here just to show you how we do this. This guy right here. I had trouble getting him out with my hand. So that's what I got the shovel for little collapsible military shovel and I'll just go in there and pop them up just like that real easy and then try to kind of fill it back in and flatten it out so it's not too you could have some rocks in there you just don't want the jagged rocks really and then what the gloves I use for really you'll see some jagged rocks like this sticking up like that and um you can mess your hands up trying to pull them out of there. Hold on, let me get my glove on here. So what I do, I just take my hand with the glove and rub it across the top of them. And they kind of just break loose real easy. But to try to do that with your hand, you can get all cut up in all kinds of stuff. And then just flatten it out. You, just, you don't need to get every single rock, but get all the jagged rocks out. Um, and this will help keep your tent in good shape for a lot longer see that you just rub it across you can see i've moved a bunch of them out here um, a bunch more of them over here just to kind of clear it out and then go through and the more you look and the more time you take to have a nice flat not jagged ground to lay your tent on the longer the bottom's going to last, and you won't have to be repairing it all the time. So get all those jagged rocks out of there, um, and your tent will last a lot longer. Uh, the holes that you get in the bottom are great for ants, ways for ants to get in and stuff like that. So, um... Yeah, it's, you got to think, when you're living nomad life, this is kind of like your, it's your home. And the ground is your foundation. And you don't want your foundation tearing holes in the bottom of your home. And then I just walk over everything and make sure it's just nice and no parts that are really sticking up that you can feel. That you would step on later and tear a hole in your tent. So that's it. Um taking care of the ground before you set up your tent and good spots to try to put your tent just to keep Hank over there cooler it's 93 degrees today and as you can see he's uh, not panting hard or anything there's a nice breeze and um, yeah I got him some shade that's the most important thing you know keeping cool so um, that's it. Good times for all here. Signing out. If um, 
you liked this video and it uh, helped you out at all, you'd like to help support me make some more, just click on one of the links below. Anything you can offer um, be much appreciated. Every penny helps, folks. So that's it. Good times for all signing out. As always, thanks for watching.